hope you all can understand there's a mess in the background. My bed is not dressed and I was just too lazy to dress it. So that's my Spotify and that's my bug. <laughs> so today I have a very big haul. It's actually embarrassing the amount of makeup I have bought within I'd say the last three weeks. I'm just gonna get straight into this video because I'd say it's gonna be a long one. First is Spotlight Teeth Whitening Strips. They are definitely my favorite teeth whitening product. Unbelievable. So I'm gonna, I kinda didn't do the last ones properly but I seen big results even though I wasn't doing them properly. And so I'm gonna do these starting from tonight and I'll update you all on Snapchat. And yeah, so leave my Snapchat um, somewhere along here. So make sure you add me because I'm on there all the time and I'm always chatting to you all. Next big thing is no surprise if you follow my Snapchat. It's the Savro. I just was washing my brushes one night and I was like, do you know what? Fuck this, sick of this. Sick of sitting at a sink for hours on end. So I got the Style Pro and I'm loving it. Have to say, I really, really enjoy it. Picked up, well, there's a story behind this. I said to my mom the other day, sorry if you can hear a little runner in the background by the way. I was like, mom, I had an accident. She was like, what's wrong? I accidentally bought five Inglot pigments online. <laughs> Obviously it was not accidental, but um, yeah, I thought I'd show you them. Excuse the oiliness of my hand. I rubbed jaw line all over it. So this is 24. This here is 115. So it's like a light gold, like rose gold, I suppose. It's really pretty. This is 121 and it's like a greeny kind of gold. It's really pretty. I put on way too much of this, but it's 125 and it's like, it goes like from pink to gold reflex. It's so pretty. Lastly, this is 122. Two. <laughs> so it's like a ready it's like green with like red and it's a gold with a greeny and red undertone should i say jesus so that's the mall there in tk max i picked up these two face selfie powders um and that's them there so there's like a purpley one a bronzy kind of one and a yellow one um like they don't swatch to anything they're more like um they're like filtering setting powders. Um, I used them today. Don't really know if I like them. But this was $12.99 in TK Max and it retails for about 30 euro here in Ireland. So that was really good. When I was in Boots the other day, it was Revlon was three for two and I was dying to try this out and I recorded a video about it and probably will be up next week or so I'll let you know anyway when it goes up. So this is the Revlon Insta Fix Stick Foundation. So that's just like the, it's just like a stick foundation. I thought it might be a dupe for the, what's that one? Make Forever one. So you'll have to stick around and wait for the video to find out if it is or it isn't. Because it was three for two, and obviously you're saving money when you buy three for two, when you only go in for one thing. Big bad at the problem. picked up the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect Makeup. So it's a foundation and basically I thought this would be really nice for camera. But it's in the shade 002 Vanilla and that's the lightest shade they have. But that looks hella dark for me. Hella dark. So it's lucky that I maybe got some lightning drops from somewhere. <laughs> because it was 3 for 2 and I couldn't pick up melts because I swatched the foundation, no not the foundation, the concealer. Because I was going in originally for just concealer and then I ended up buying all this. <laughs> but the concealer was literally, I'd say, about four shades darker than my skin tone. And I'm super duper pale and that was the palest colour. And I was just like, that's that's a contour. That's not that's not an under eye concealer. So I couldn't use that. So I just got the Revlon Ultimate All-in-One Mascara to try. I didn't even open it yet because I'm trying to use up other mascaras that I have because I have loads on the go. Okay, I know you're all here for pennies, so let's get into it. There's not that much. I got a pair of bell lashes and of oh, Sosumi's new launch is the Molly's. I said I'd try them, so that's what they look like. They look really nice and wispy, so can't wait to try them. My eyelash addiction is getting out of control. I literally have no room for any more. I then picked up the Pure Glow 
um, highlighting kit because it's meant to be a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills one and I swatched this in store and holy moly it's gorgeous like so you want to see swatches I'm gonna show you swatches so this is dessert so that's the white one so I'll swatch it here and then this is glimmer so it's like this goldy one here and we have Eden, which is like a pinky colour. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. And then I ran out of fingers. So just wipe on your pajama bottoms because life. And then this is Firefly. So it's a really goldy one. It'll be so nice on the lids. Why did I swatch it there? That's very awkward. <laughs> For six year old sure. Where would you go wrong? This is Firefly. This is dessert is it dessert or desert dessert has two asses isn't it oh god my spelling's like crap this is fire no glimmer and this is eden the pinky one it's really really pretty so you'll see me using that i'm sure in some videos or on my snapchat which i won't shut up about <laughs> And then more highlighting from Pennies. I seen this on their Instagram, I think it was. So this is the Pennies, well, PS highlight. So it's rose gold uh, face and body highlighter and it's a liquid highlighter. And I'm going to swatch it on this hand, even though this is covered in ink pigments. Well, the residue of ink pigments. It's actually a lot darker than I expected. Um, so that's a bit sad. Because I won't be able to use this unless I'm tanned. You can't even see it. I wouldn't say it's rose gold. It's like pinky orange gold. It's not rose gold. Definitely not. Um, compared to the other Chauvin powder, not powders, um, liquid highlighters I've seen, it's um, not as pigmented looking. I don't know whether it's just because I've shimmer all over my hand and it's taken away from it and... I don't know, I can see it in the reflection of my mirror here and it's like, it's a nice sheen to it. But it just doesn't look as like, ba -bam, as I'd like it to. Even these look way nicer. So, that's a bit disappointing, Pennies. Last and not least from Pennies is these PS Hollywood oil pulling sachets. So, if you can't tell already, I'm obsessed with tea whitening. Uh, I hate my teeth, so I always want them to be as white as possible. So I'm going to actually use these first, I think, before I use the spotlight ones because I know the spotlight ones work. So maybe I'll use these and see if these work. So they're four euro and they come with seven 10 mil sachets. Basically, if you don't know what oil pulling is, it's just a method of whitening teeth. And you basically swish it around your mouth for, it says five to 15 minutes on here and your teeth will feel sm smooth and glossy. Hmm. I don't know. It's coconut oil basically and it's um, fresh mint flavor, thank God, because I hate coconut oil. But um, we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know. Next um, is just really random. It's the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I've been dying to try it. I see Shibi Beauty using it all the time. So I said I'd give it a go. Oh, and I picked up this joker to save pennies. It was three euro. And I thought it was two different ones, but it isn't. It's all it's all connected. Picked up the Catrice Prime and Fine Contouring Palette, is it? Yeah, Professional Contouring Palette. So this is lovely and ashy. It looks a bit warm on camera, but it's lovely and ashy. And then there's a nice highlighter. It's kind of similar to the... What is it? Mineral Grow. It's actually a bit more muted than the Mineral Glow. If I didn't speak so fast, I might be able to speak. Um, but I really like this Laura's Views. I recommended it, so I tried it out. What are you eating? What are you eating? Come here. What are you eating? What are you eating? Come here. Oh, while we're on the topic of Catrice, I didn't know whether I should mention this or not, but I said I would, so I was really, really lucky, and this is not an ad. Um, Catrice sent me out their spring summer collection for 2017, and they asked me to try it and let me know. They didn't even say let me know what you think, they just said here's some pieces to try. So um, I said I'd show you some, and yeah, I was talking about some of them today in my Snapchat, so this will be up the following day, so if it's it should be still up in my Snapchat, so... 
as I said, I mentioned it a hundred times in this video, but there be, there's always a link down below to my Snapchat and yeah, you really should follow me because I'm always on there. First, they sent me the lightning and darkening transformer drops. I already have these, so I'm leaving. This is my original one. I have left the other one in a different drawer, so it's getting put into a giveaway that I'm going to be doing when I reach 500 subscribers. So if you want to promote me and tell your friends to subscribe so you can be in the chance to win some lovely makeup bits, um, please do. So the lightning and darkening drops I used. The darkening drops on my contour today now like it's kind of worn off because it's on like all day but it's still, still not too bad and they're really easy and nice to blend so that was really good. Also got three nail varnishes. I'm just trying to get through this really quick because I know this video is like two hours long. Um, these are the Soft Blossom Floral Scented Lip, not lip glosses, oh Jesus, nail varnishes. So this is Coachella Vibes and this is Flower Berry Bouquet and I'm going to paint my nails with this and I'll stick a photo on Instagram or something like that. And then I got this highlight top coat which is like shimmery top coat. Um, it looks like it would leave a nice goldy sheen on it. Um, my mom literally thought it was for your face, for your face highlight. I was like, look mom, if you want to do that and poison yourself from the scent on your face, you do that, but I'm not gonna do that. Next is the liquid gel cushion eyeliner. So this is really, really interesting. I demoed it on my Snapchat today, so make sure to have a look at that. Next is the Catrice Lip Dresser Shine Stilo. So I think it's kind of like the Benefit one. It's not two different shades that's meant to be a liner, but it's actually what I have on my lips and it's really soft and really smooth to apply. You don't actually twist it up, you press it up with a button. So if you're anything like me and love a gimmick, <laughs> that's, that's for me. <laughs> also got the all round beautifying concealer eye and lip pencil and i have this in my waterline and i lined my lips with it today and it's so creamy so nice and i am loving it um next is the catrice metallic liquid liner and oh my god i'm so excited to use it but i just don't know how i'm going to use metallic eyeliner like i just don't know how that's acceptable to wear on an everyday basis like people will just think I'm a bit mad like I'd wear but people will just think I'm a bit mad wearing metallic eyeliner but it's like a brown metallic shimmery it's really really nice I really really like it and last and oh my lord this is not the least this I had this on today and I love it so feckin much already I've worn it one day and I love it. This is the liquid metal long lasting cream eyeshadow and I imagine it's to be like a dupe of the Cielo ones. Um, that's a swatch of it there. It's a mauvey purpley colour. It's gorgeous. It's on my eyes. I'll show you. It's on my eyelids. So no crease and no nothing. Set really really well. Looks fab if I do say so myself. And I love it. So that's all for today guys. I really hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe because it actually means so well to me. I love when I see new people subscribing. These are all my friends. So yeah, let me know if you tried any of these products and what you think. And let me know if I should buy anything else. Like let me know if there's nothing major I'm missing out on in the moment, like in the beauty world. Cause you know, I need an excuse to buy my makeup. <laughs> Clearly not. I don't know where I'm going to put all this. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next one, guys. Bye! I know she won't be good for me.